Dark Psychology Tricks to Watch Out For Clever Coercion Manipulative Mind Games to Beware Of Dark psychology is a term that refers to the manipulation of people's thoughts, feelings, and behaviors for personal gain, often at the expense of the target's well-being. These tactics are employed by individuals who have a keen understanding of human psychology and use it to exploit others. While it's important to recognize that most people have good intentions, it's equally crucial to be aware of the dark psychology tricks that exist. In this video, we'll explore six of these manipulative techniques to help you safeguard yourself from potential harm. 1. Gaslighting. Gaslighting is a form of psychological manipulation in which the manipulator tries to make the target doubt their perception, memory, or reality. It often involves the denial of events that have occurred, trivializing the target's feelings, or twisting the facts to create confusion. The goal is to erode the victim's self-esteem and self-confidence, making them more susceptible to manipulation. To protect yourself from gaslighting, trust your instincts and maintain a strong sense of self-awareness. Example. Imagine you and your partner argue, and your partner starts denying that the argument even happened. Or they claim that you're exaggerating the situation. They might say, you're overreacting, I never said that. This is a classic example of gaslighting. The manipulator is trying to make you doubt your memory and perception of reality, leaving you feeling confused and questioning your sanity. Protection. Trust your recollection of events and seek validation from trustworthy sources if you're unsure about a situation. 2. Love bombing. Love bombing is a technique used by manipulators to overwhelm their targets with excessive attention, affection, and gifts in an attempt to create a sense of emotional dependence. Initially, this may feel like genuine affection, but it often masks ulterior motives, such as financial gain or control. To guard against love bombing, maintain a healthy sense of skepticism, and take time to get to know someone before becoming deeply involved in a relationship. Example. You meet someone new who seems incredibly charming and interested in you. They shower you with compliments, gifts, and constant attention. They might say things like, you're the most amazing person I've ever met, and I can't imagine my life without you. While this affection may feel genuine at first, it could be an attempt to create emotional dependence. Protection. Take time to get to know the person and their true intentions before fully committing to a relationship. Healthy relationships develop gradually. 3. Devaluation. Devaluation is a tactic in which the manipulator alternates between idealizing and devaluing their target. They might shower the target with praise and attention one moment and then criticize and belittle them the next. This roller coaster of emotions can leave the target feeling emotionally drained and desperate to regain the manipulator's approval. To counter devaluation, recognize your self-worth and don't base your self-esteem on external validation. Example. A supervisor at work consistently praises your performance one day and criticizes it the next. They might say, you're the best employee we have on Monday and you're never as good as you think you are on Tuesday. This inconsistency in feedback can undermine your self-esteem and make you eager to seek their approval. Protection. Maintain a strong sense of self-worth and do not allow your self-esteem to be based solely on external validation. If you found value so far in this video, please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to support this channel, it will be appreciated. Please share across social media platforms to reach a wider audience. 4. Isolation. Isolation is a technique that involves cutting the target off from their friends and family, making them more dependent on the manipulator. This tactic can be particularly insidious, as it often starts subtly with the manipulator encouraging the target to spend more time with them and less time with others. To protect against isolation, maintain a support network of friends and family. And be cautious of anyone who tries to limit your social interactions. Example. You have a close friend who becomes increasingly controlling, insisting that you spend most of your free time with them, and discouraging you from seeing other friends or family members. Gradually, you find yourself isolated from your support network. Protection. 
recognize any attempts to limit your social interactions and maintain connections with friends and family. Healthy relationships allow for independence. 5. Fear, Obligation, and Guilt, Fog. Manipulators often use fear, obligation, and guilt to control their targets. They instill fear by threatening consequences or harm. Create a sense of obligation by making the target feel indebted. And manipulate guilt by making the target responsible for the manipulator's feelings or well-being. To resist fog tactics, set healthy boundaries and prioritize your well-being. Example. A family member uses guilt to manipulate you into helping them financially. Saying, you owe me for all I've done for you. You feel obligated to provide financial assistance, even if it's not in your best interest. Protection. Establish and maintain clear boundaries in your relationships. Recognize when guilt or obligation is being used to control your actions and evaluate whether the request is reasonable. 6. Bait and switch. The bait and switch technique involves presenting an enticing offer or proposition to the target and then changing the terms or conditions once the target is committed. This can be seen in various contexts, from business deals to personal relationships. To protect yourself from the bait and switch, always thoroughly evaluate any agreements or commitments. And be prepared to walk away if the terms change unfavorably. Example. In a business deal, you're offered an attractive initial price for a product or service. After you commit, the terms change, and additional costs or conditions are added. This bait-and-switch tactic is used to trap you into an agreement you wouldn't have entered. If you'd known the true terms from the beginning. Protection. Always read the fine print in contracts and agreements. If the terms change after you've agreed, be prepared to walk away if the new conditions are not favorable. Dark psychology tricks are manipulative tactics used by individuals to exploit and control others. Being aware of these tactics is essential for safeguarding your well-being and personal autonomy. By recognizing the signs of gaslighting, love bombing, devaluation, isolation, fog, and bait and switch, you can protect yourself from falling victim to manipulative individuals. Trust your instincts, maintain strong boundaries, and prioritize your emotional and psychological health to defend against these harmful tactics. Remember, knowledge is your most powerful defense against dark psychology. Manipulators can employ a wide range of dark psychology tricks to control and exploit others. Here are some additional tactics used by manipulators. 1. Triangulation. Manipulators may involve a third party to create jealousy, insecurity, or competition in a relationship. For example, in a romantic relationship, they might talk about an attractive person from their past or frequently mention a person who seems interested in them to make their partner feel inadequate. 2. Silent treatment. This involves the manipulator giving their target the cold shoulder or refusing to communicate, often as a form of punishment. It creates anxiety and distress in the target, making them more compliant. 3. Projecting. Manipulators may project their negative traits or behaviors onto their target. For instance, if they are dishonest, they might accuse their target of being a liar. This shifts blame and makes the manipulator appear virtuous. 4. Hoovering. In the context of relationships. Hoovering is when a manipulator tries to draw a former partner back into a relationship after a breakup. They may use flattery, apologies, or promises to rekindle the connection. Only to resume their manipulative behavior once the target returns. 5. Guilt tripping. Manipulators often use guilt to control their target's behavior. They might say things like, if you loved me, you would do this for me, or, you're letting me down. This creates a sense of obligation and pressure to comply. 6. Shaming. Shaming is a tactic where manipulators use humiliation, criticism, or judgment to make the target feel inferior or inadequate. They may comment on the target's appearance, choices, or past mistakes to undermine their self-esteem. 7. Playing the victim. Manipulators can cast themselves as victims to gain sympathy and manipulate others. They might exaggerate their hardships or cast blame on others for their problems. 8. Narcissistic gaslighting. In addition to traditional gaslighting, 
Narcissists often use gaslighting as a means of maintaining control and keeping their victims off balance. They might claim that their victims are overly sensitive or imagining things to invalidate their feelings and perceptions. 9. Phantom Debt In the financial realm, manipulators might create fictitious debts or financial obligations to extract money from their targets. They use fear and pressure to make the target pay for something that doesn't exist. 10. Bribery Manipulators may offer rewards or incentives to encourage their targets to comply with their wishes. For example, they might offer money, gifts, or favors to gain cooperation. 11. Love Withdrawal Instead of love bombing, manipulators may use the threat of withdrawing affection, attention, or love as a means of control. They'll make their targets believe that their love is conditional on compliance. 12. Character Assassination Manipulators may spread false information or gossip about their target to damage their reputation or credibility. This tactic is used to isolate the target from their support network. Understanding these additional dark psychology tricks can help you be more vigilant and better equipped to protect yourself from manipulation. Recognizing these tactics is a crucial step in maintaining your boundaries and well-being. If you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up, like and subscribe to our channel for more self-improvement videos. Comment below to tell us how useful you found this video. Don't forget to share on various social media platforms to reach a wider audience. Click the notification bell to get notified anytime we post a new video. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video.